What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again today and I'm very excited about today's review not because it's a celebrity endorsed product but because it's my favourite food. I love pizza. Doing these food reviews though however there's not a lot of pizzas that like get released like new pizzas so pizza is pretty much standard everywhere now like you got your pepperoni, you got your meat feast, you got your margarita there isn't really that much new stuff. How they do occasionally, but, so, I can't really, unless it's like on a day where I'm not filming or anything like that, which is very rare these days, but, they, I saw this in Iceland, and I thought, oh, if there's any pizza that described me, it's this one. It's the big sexy meaty one. <laughs> so, let's have a look at the box. So here it is, Louis Capaldi's pizza, devilishly good in 16 minutes, the big sexy meaty one, <laughs> and there he is, and there's his pizza. So it says scan here for extra treats, I'm not going to do that, but if any of you would want to do that, see if we've won out, if you can scan that. Right, let's have a look at the box, what does it say, <clears throat> let me just turn this light off, it's a little bit darker but easier to read so Louis Capaldi's the big sexy meaty one pizza with mozzarella cheese pepperoni cooked pork cooked bacon and hot pepperoni sausage and duja style for best results remove the pizza from the freezer 15 minutes before cooking that's what I've done and it's gone soft and doughy so you cook for 16 to 18 minutes in the oven that is the nutritional information It is obviously as a pizza, 50 grams of 651 calories for half a pizza. So it's a good 1300 calorie pizza, this, <laughs> with 66 grams of protein. And these are the ingredients. There's a lot of them. I think these are in percentages, yeah, 12.8. Right, okay, so we've got mozzarella cheese, 12.8%, pepperoni, 7.9%. Cooked pork, 5.9%. Cooked bacon, 3.9%. Hot, spicy, sausage and do your style, 3%. You've got wheat as the allergen and our factory also processes celery. And milk is also an allergen. They're not in bold, they're just in capitals, so it's a bit harder to see. I may have missed some. I apologise if I have missed some. However, it's time to just... Uh, time to have a look at it so like it says on there i did get it out of the freezer 15 minutes ago and it has gone a bit doughy so i have taken it out <clears throat> but this is uh this is the resulting pizza so let's put that light back on now i'll take it out of the plastic and get it onto my pizza tray So we we'll just slide it on there, get the plastic off, and there we go. There it is, the big sexy meaty one. So, 16 minutes in the oven, I'll bring you back when it's done. So the pizza is about halfway done now and the aroma in this kitchen is magnificent. It smells unbelievable, all that meaty goodness, the big sexy meaty one. Oh, I cannot wait. Just enough time before it's ready to remind you guys that subscribing is totally free. It's not like a magazine subscription. It doesn't cost you a penny. So hit that subscribe and uh, the notify bell so you don't miss these videos. I do post every day and according to my YouTube analytics, whatever that means, it says that 75% of the viewers are not subscribed. Why not subscribe? Come on. Welcome. Come and subscribe. Come and join the family. Okay, let's get some pizza down his neck. So it is ready and here it is. Look at that. It looks delicious. Now this is a massive plate and it's actually bigger than the plate. So like I said, I'm going to share this with my daughter. So I'm going to put half on a plate for me and I'm going to send half upstairs to her. So it is taste time. 
I have been looking forward to this for a while. Look at that. Straight in with it then. What does the El Prez say, the Dave Portnoy? I've got the flop, not a lot of flop there. There's some spice to it though. There's no chilli rating on it. <clears throat> But it does say hot pepperoni sausage and douja style. I wonder if that's spicy. Because it certainly tastes spicy. It's got a little bit of a kick. I don't mind it. Mm, it's beautiful. Pizza is. I once said a while back, even bad pizza is good because this stuff is the best food in the world. Mm. Look at the crust there. Look how doughy that, that crust is. So it's got them air pockets in there. Although it's crispy on the outside, you can still, I need some sauce for the crust. It's so soft, but, but it's got a crisp as well. You can still see the flour on the on the on the outer and the outer crust. It's really nice, really well made. The big sticking point, which I haven't touched on yet, is price tag. Usually these are a fiver. Now that's expensive for a pizza. I know that everything's gone up, but it is quite pricey. It's currently, as this video goes out, four pound. And they have got another flavour, they've got a cheesy one, the big sexy cheesy one I think it's called, or the big cheesy one. But, they were the same price, I'm not going to review the cheesy one, I'm not really just a plain old margarita person. I like a bit of, I like some toppings on my pizza. It's really nice. Good. Plenty of meat on them slices. Plenty of meat on them slices. There's not as much cheese as I would like. I'd like a bit more cheese, but that's because they've topped it with meat. This, for taste, it's like an eight out of 10. For value though, probably lets it down. Would I pay four quid again for it? Probably not. I'm gonna get one of them Aldi ones for about one pound 50 that are they're up there with that in taste, but the half the price, if not more. I don't. I, I prefer a stuffed crust, if I'm honest. That crust is nice, but I prefer a stuffed crust. It's good, but it's not worth four quid or five quid when it goes back up. Sorry, Lewis. However, this one will be a not buying it again, but I'm going to enjoy it. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.